looking good! Oh yeah! Hello and welcome back to RC Workshop. Guys, check it out. We are on part two of the big indoor site crawler build. That was part one over there, so there you can see you should have already seen that. If not, the, the link to this video will be below this one. But part two today, already made a little start on it because I didn't just want to bore you with a piece of sideboard with nothing on it from the beginning. Literally, nice and easy though, stuck two boxes down, opened the flap up on one, cut the two sides out to make a drive through cave. Uh, we're going to build this up sort of thing again, more spray foam around this, probably put some LEDs inside that cave. What I'm thinking is maybe go from this build off here, across and over onto the top of there, maybe. Or do I go from this one right up high and then back down along that wall onto the top of there. So a nice steep climb along the back of the wall there, like a bit of a roller coaster climb. I think I might go for the roller coaster climb myself, maybe. Because what I might want to do once that roller coaster climb is in, is do a big jump from the middle of this one. Well, not a jump, but you know, a climb. A big climb that goes over the top of all of it into this one. So you can skip the middles out and just jump to the sides. think that would be quite a nice feature. Already started on a jumbo lollipop stick return back down off this one. Literally, again, nice and easy. You put one in as a spacer like so. You put a runner hot glue along. I can do this with my left hand and I'm right handed. It's that easy. Drop one on like so. Give it a little push. Let that dry for a second. Remove the other stick. There you go. This is a nice steep climb as well. This will be steep for the uh, little crawlers, I think. If you can see that there. Oh, that's going to be steep. That'll be a test. They'll definitely be able to come down off it. Let's see if they can get up it. If not, we'll just add a little bit of... Uh, Sticky on there and a bit of sand, and that'll make it nice and grippy. Or change the wheels on these uh, Charisma crawlers. Put a second one of them on there. Actually, let's just finish this on video real quick. Blob of glue. Next stick on there. Hey, move that stick across a little bit. There you go. Next one. Uh, is that the one? No. Ooh. You need cocked up there. And then that's going to leave us perfect. Blob of glue. This is really awkward. I should really set this camera up on a tripod. And there we go. Drop that on there. Give it a little press. Remove this one. Remove this one. And there we go. We've got a nice little climb up ramp. Oh yeah. Look at that for a good start. I'm happy with that. Oh, yeah, what I'm going to do, I think the little mounting across the top. So if we go up, not just up to the box because that's boring. If we go off the box and up and then back down like a steep zigzag climb to put us on top of that box there. Again, this is all going to be spray foamed up and some rocks on there and some textures and stuff like that. That's why I put some cardboard across this back wall because it's all going to be painted up as well. I don't want to paint the wall. Uh, on top of the desk as well is just literally a cardboard sheet, so if you ever want to change it, just pull the cardboard sheet off, rip it apart. Or if there's parts alike on there, cut the cardboard sheet, put the new piece across, no problem at all. Right, let's get to this next little build, but I am happy with that so far. The little jimmy as well, fits inside that cave as a little drive through cave. Back out the other side, nice and tight as well. Might just widen these up just a little bit more for the jimmy. The uh, Ford, however, straight through and out, no problem. Let's get some batteries in that and test it, actually. Whoa! That took a lot longer than expected, guys. But it is built. Uh, it is absolutely solid. That's tough enough for a micro crawler. It's probably tough enough for a one-tenth. And that just literally fits on there like so. I've just got to hot glue that down when it's dead against the wall like that. Hot glue that down. Again, there's going to be all little foam blobs and rocks and that there. So when you come down this one, it's awkward to get up to there. Then you get up on there, you can get to this box, back down and round. Uh, let's glue it down and have a little go with the Suzuki Jimmy. Wait. And it's glued on nice and tight. That is solid. Let's get the Suzuki Jimmy on it and give it a little go. 
Nice little steady crawl up there. Hey! Over the top. Hey, that works quite well. I know this one's a bit techy. I've had a little go with this one off camera. Especially trying to do it one handed. <laughs> but let's give it a go. Come on. Nice, nice. Yeah! That's tidy. Let's uh, try it in reverse as well. So let's send it up there. No problem. Wicked. Nice, nice, nice. Behind the post. Oh, I like it. Actually, we try, should we go? Just go down the steep one. May as well make it awkward. And yeah, we're down. So we've gone the rest of it, may as well. Oh, hung up. Yeah. Oh, wow. I love it. So I want, to, I want to try and get it so we can actually run two, three, four crawlers on it all at the same time. There's going to be an awful lot of elements in this, guys. This isn't it by far. This is literally just the second level. So you've got first level, which is all going to be rocks and stuff. Second level up, and hopefully a third level to climb up and through as well. It's going to get more and more elaborate as we go on, but we just need to get a base down on there. Love that back wall. That's a nice use of space across the back. You want some height across there. Because if you put height at the front, you ain't going to be able to see through it to the back. That works really well. Happy with that, guys? Ooh, yeah. Right then, so I have decided what we're going to do is come off this piece, across, and then straight down into the centre of this piece. That's going to enable you to go round the sides. So round the sides, inside as well. So you're going to have plenty of movement around that. I've just started on the piece and that's going to fit under there like so. And that's going to put you nicely down onto the middle over there with more sticks. And then you'll be able to drive underneath that and round it, which is going to be nice. Let's get that done. Oh, oh and there we go that piece is in i like that a lot that is starting to look pretty tasty to be honest i'm looking forward to trying this out let's get some footage right then here we go so a little bit of a figure of eight with some up and overs that is tidy across the center of the course then over the top down this main ramp and then up the awkward tight corner this is very awkward not a problem though down the back Ooh. down the back up the new ramp over the top and then down this one Let's just line myself up for it So there you go, that is probably it for part two today. I've stuck plenty of jumbo sticks together for today, I think. I'm really happy with the way that's come out. Again, guys, your chance to get something in on this course. Let me know what you think you want on it, and I'll try and build it, guys. Anyway, give me the thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, the third video will be up over here when it's uploaded. Go check it out. See you on the next one.